is the last place on earth that you should be building and serving. To build, to build an incinerator side by side with the biggest pasta manufacturer in the world is sheer lunacy. Lunacy! So when the politicians tell you my hands are tied, the decision has already been made. <laughs> no politician should be forced to do something which is sheer lunacy. Now that it's a uh, parmesan ham as well. <coughs> now, anybody in the agricultural business will tell you that we have two problems here. Two problems. One problem is the real problem of how much toxics are going to go into the food. That's one problem. And the other problem is the perception. The perception of the problem. In other words, when you start seeing the photographs and the videotapes of this incinerator next to the pasta manufacturer, those pictures could go around the world. And it doesn't really matter if this is the safest, cleanest, best incinerator that's ever been built. This will cause damage. Now, I'm not here to block industrial progress. And it's clear that this, this company, this incinerator, will make a lot of money for a few people. But when the politicians were elected into office, the assumption was that they would do everything that they possibly could to protect your health and to protect your economic welfare. And so when you have this incoming industry, you have to ask yourself, which has the greater interest here? The incoming incinerator or the existing cheese industry, the existing ham industry, the existing uh, pasta industry, the existing tourist industry. Surely the politicians must be able to balance these two things. One is, are you going to side with the few powerful men who are going to make money out of this new industry brought to Palma? Or are you going to protect the existing industries in Palma which are world famous? Your cheese is world famous, your ham is world famous, your pasta is world famous, and your tourism is world famous. Which do you do? But their hand 
hands are tied. <laughs> oh, I want to know who tied their hands. Who is it that has this rope that goes round tying your politician's hands? Who is it? Who has this power to tie your politician's hands? <laughs> and cut the ropes that tie 